Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling magnificent. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back, Gemini. Your time is valuable. Let's get straight into it. Let's jump straight in. Let me clear the deck. And Gemini, um, as the title says, um, with the cover image, it's about the case of the X. So um, basically, you know, it's uh, anything that you really uh, probably want to know about. Is there any clarity, any insight, any confirmation here about your X here? Um, so for those that perhaps do want to hear from your um, person, uh, if you just really want to kind of understand kind of why things ended the way they did. Perhaps you actually even dodged a bullet in rare circumstances, Jim and I. Uh, reconciliation is absolutely possible. And like I always say, reconciliation can mean many things. It could be the chance to forgive, to get your clarity, um, you know, to move forward, you know, with a clear head. Or yes, to actually reconcile. So let's see. The case of the ex, please, for a Jim and I and their person. Um, also, Jim and I, if this reading does resonate with you, if it speaks certain volumes and you're like, that does sound like my reading, sounds like my story, I do invite you to check out your optional extended reading, Gemini, and the link to your optional extended reading is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. It is available to rent, to purchase. Um, you can download it to your phone, to your computer, take screenshots of it, write notes down. It is yours for life. You can do whatever you want with it. And the purpose of that extended Gemini is that um, it's an extension of this reading. And I do that extended reading from your person's perspective and only from their perspective about you. And I dive a little bit deeper into their true thoughts, feelings, hope, wishes, fears, actions. And what do they hope to achieve as an outcome with you? I'll be using four different decks for your person. So that's... Uh, that is there, the link below, I've clearly labeled it. So let's get straight into it. Whoa. Okay, we have two cards that came out. I don't really want to pause the video. Wow. The devil and the tower. A blockage here, something toxic. And then it appears that uh, this was a very drastic ending between you and your person. Ooh, okay. Dare I say that the last memory, Gemini, you have of your person is not good. Here we go. And I will definitely be clarifying these cards. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. Interesting. Mm. That is the first card, the unnumbered card. It is ruled by Aries. It's all about reclaiming innocence. It's all about brand new beginnings, taking that leap of faith. Your person could be also at a certain distance from you or you're feeling that emotional distance. But mm, there is something here about taking action. So I'm wondering, Jim and I, are you feeling compelled to take action? If not... If you're thinking there's no way in hell I would actually take that first step, fair enough. Bear in mind that perhaps your person is thinking of taking action. We'll see. Okay. All right. Something's happening here. Um, mm, we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have this particular knight looking to the future. They're holding that cup of love, metaphorically. Um, this may actually come in the form of an apology coming your way. Mm, rekindling that romance, that spark. This could actually also mean some form of reconciliation here. Might be a reason if you catch yourself thinking about this person, most likely they are thinking about you. But it seems here perhaps of taking certain changes or actions towards you. All the knights mean in messages um, and of course actions and changes. This will be of a romantic kind. This indeed may be kind of like a leap of faith. It's like it's now or never with Gemini. And we have the Page of Cups, more Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For some of you, there may have been children involved, either between both of you, or perhaps you have children, or they have their own children, you know, with, they, with someone else here, with that Page of Cups. I think just the only issue here, Gemini, is that you're probably seeing your person as a little bit emotionally immature. So we did see the Devil and the Tower. That is a very powerful combination of someone that has acted towards you without little, very, very little regard, right? So the could doesn't matter how old this person is, perhaps they were acting very immature, very impulsive here. They might have, it seems like they just ended things spur of the moment, which is why we have double apologies coming your way. We do have a lot of messages though. Interesting. Four of Wands, Aries energy. 
This is all about twin flame energy. Could be, doesn't have to be, but we also have here, you know, the topic of discussions such as um, commitment, marriage, moving in together here. This is a very strong card for reconciliation though. So this is interesting, but um, I think you're, you're doing really good on your own. The thing is we have the nine of pentacles. That's my singles card. Hmm, that is Virgo energy right there. And well, we do have the moon, Pisces, Cancer energy, a lot of water here. I feel that you're single, you're alone, but you're not lonely. You're just smashing it in other areas of your life. You know, you're being very independent, resourceful. Perhaps you're thinking of becoming your own boss or already are your own boss. You're just heavily focused on your professional life here at the moment. But it's almost like the question is, do I really... Am I enjoying being single or do I really want to give that up if this person were to come back though? I think your emotions are still running very high here with that moon. Let's get to your main reading. What's the head of your reading? Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Ooh, okay, interesting. The Wheel of Fortune here. We have four fixed signs and this is the card of, well, destiny. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio and Taurus. And we have the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. Ooh, dare I say that this person is probably going to take action towards you. The Seven of Pentacles is all about investing in this, whoop, knock the camera there, investing in this relationship or reinvesting in it long term. There is a big part of you thinking, is this actually going to pay off? Is it actually worth it though? You know, if I put in the hard work again and if they do, is it going to work this time? Now, I'm thinking that your person's thinking about that as well, because this particular king, again, is looking to the past, though. And I think there has, there's definitely something here to do that the timing wasn't right. It was a little bit off here. And I feel with that moon is that your person perhaps was being a little bit mysterious or a little bit secretive, not telling you the real truth as to why they ended it. I have a feeling that they are the ones that ended it or else why so many apologies here? Why thinking I'm going to take that risk, you know, that leap of faith towards Gemini? So yeah, this is all about reinvesting in this long term. The Wheel of Fortune is perhaps saying, well, what if now is the right time? And the King of Wands only takes action, just like the Queen of Wands, something that they're passionate about, what they believe, what they love. This person's actually, you know, they're pretty much go-getters, excellent salespeople. <laughs> They've got the gift of the gab here. Very, They can even be extroverts, very outgoing. That this person's looking to the past thinking, perhaps it wasn't the right time, but what if it's now? If I took that leap of faith, can it actually work? Mm. Yeah, we're leaving behind a lot of things. The Five of Swords, that is uh, Aquarius energy. I think they're recognizing this couldn't have been very one-sided. The beating heart of the reading is Two of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, Aquarius there. And the Seven of Swords, more Aquarius energy. Wow. Oh, well, the thing is I can say here is that uh, it's just a little bit tricky. Like clearly your person has not been honest with you and you know that. I think you, you can definitely read between the lines. The Five of Swords really showing to me that your person in the past, they've just couldn't have been not honest with what they wanted. They couldn't have been breadcrumbing you here, you know, giving you that false hope, false wishes, you know, that false sense of, wow, this is actually really going to work. Mm, yeah, it's a bit self. I think your person was happy to take, take, take. Um, but towards the end, I'm, I'm kind of thinking towards the end, though, um, you are not receiving anything from this person. This actually does also mean, um, you know, there was probably conflict. It just didn't serve you at that time as well. And perhaps there were less than desirable people around this connection, whether it was family, friends or an ex here that was ill advising a person to not commit to you. So if you kind of have an idea who that person is or that group of people, because it could be more than one here, the person's left here thinking, why did I listen to them? I should have not listened to them. That Two of Pentacles now is weighing up the options, one on how to approach you, and for you, it's, do I even talk to this person again though? I think there's a part of you that could be curious, because that is very typical here of uh, the Fool card. The Fool is very, you know, adventurous, very curious here. But this is the thing, Seven of Swords, I think for a while your person has been lying to themselves. I don't need Gemini, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. But then this is what happens when we keep burying our, you know, our emotions here with the moon. You know, we just keep festering and it keeps getting bigger, and bigger and bigger. And it's like, you know, your person's trying to lie, but who are they trying to convince here? It's also showing to me here, of course, that if your person was trying to juggle you and something or someone else, they failed miserably as well. Do you trust this person? No, 
100 percent apps i can see that you don't and the reason you know there was some dishonesty here as to why they perhaps ended things why that tower came crashing down now we also have my favorite card for healing ruled by sagittarius is temperance now there is nothing impulsive about this card it's a complete opposite of the devil here they are dipping their feet ever so slowly around you towards you and pouring one cup of love or emotions equally from one cup into another mm. to salvage this connection gemini because i'm seeing that your person they do have a bit of a guilty conscience here to salvage this pain that they have caused this wedge is that they need to come back only with the intentions of peace balance and harmony and to be very extremely patient with you and i think almost like they're narrowing down their options on how to approach you how to go about this what to say to you but this is all about being very excruciatingly painful with you because i think with you gemini once that trust has been severed you're going to look at them very different it's very hard to see them the same way as before and i don't blame you in the near future we have a six of wands that is Leo energy right there. Okay, this comes with a personal level of success here. I do feel that some form of, I would say, a chat or a meeting or a conversation here, could be face-to-face, -face, um, is going to be quite successful. At least that's what they want it to be. The sixes are all about healing um, as well. But again, you know, this is a personal victory card, but your person is going to have to work for it absolutely because they know that perhaps you've lost some respect for them some trust even love here you know in retrospect you're probably seeing them quite differently now they're really going to have to work for it it's almost saying success is assured but they're really going to have to work for it this is not going to happen overnight and in the outcome we have the six of cups scorpio energy so this is indeed reconciliation you may have heard other readers saying blast from the past they are very true you know they are they are very right what i'm trying to say here if there are children involved no matter the age could be actual children teenagers young adults i feel like they're going to be quite instrumental here as well they could be quite vocal about that we are seeing a past life connection where i think it's like the more you start talking to each other the more nostalgic both of you actually get i am seeing a past life connection here which is probably why we're thinking why can't I stop thinking about them? Why can't I stop thinking about Gemini? So they're feeling this pull towards you, which kind of defies logic and reason. All of this for me spells very good healing energy here as well. But there's a part of you that is not trusting this reconciliation though. And I don't blame you because I, I wouldn't as well. Um, it's almost like I see that you're curious. You want to see where this is going to go. But um, it's almost like you're thinking, but why are you back now though? And Gemini, I know that you are an overthinker and that's not always a bad thing because it's good to see things from all different angles, you know, tie up all the loose ends and all that. I do want to clarify these cards. I want to see where this is going to go. Look at that seven swords again at the bottom and the five of pentacles, Taurus energy. So I feel this person may have given you the cold shoulder. You could have just felt utterly abandoned by this person as well. And justice, Libra energy. There could be talks about someone that got divorced or separated here as well. Mm, okay, this is, uh, this is an interesting reading, I must admit, because I just feel almost that the return is going to be quite shocking as well. And you're not waiting for this person. I think that's fantastic. You're doing your own thing. You know, you're being represented as a nine of pentacles. That's the, you know, the minor arcana of the empress. So you're out there, you're doing your own thing. But I just do feel that this return is going to be quite a shock. You may anticipate it, but, you know, when it actually happens, you're like, whoa, got a highlighted message there. This could be for you, could be about your person. All right, here we go. Two more. Oh, put you back in. That was too much. Two more. And the last one. All right, Jim and I, here we go. All right, the highlighted message here is judgment. So this is Scorpio energy. As you can see, it's about revival. It's about resurrection. You know, it's almost like I think you accepted that this relationship is dead. It's buried. I'm moving on here. It doesn't make it any less painful, but we literally have here your person trying to bring this back to life here to have a second chance. It seems that your person has had big epiphanies here, major spiritual wake up calls. Um, and now they're seeing the situation in retrospect in its raw state here as well. I think they've made some pretty poor decisions when it comes to this connection. And they want to make the right decision. Yet yeah, we've got the Empress. 
So this is a major here for Taurus and also Libra. Now it's already telling me, yes, for I'm going to say the majority of you, there definitely could be children involved. Perhaps you're thinking about, you know, children or pregnancy in the future. So that looks marvelous. This is the most creative, abundant and fertile card. But more often than not, this is giving birth to the situation once more. I think both of you are really single. Both of you have come across now as the Nine of Pentacles. That's the singles card. Yep, definitely smashing. I think your person is changing jobs. They're a lot more ambitious right now. But here they come to Page of Cups again. Give you that apology. They want to talk to you. It's from the heart. And they are going to be truthful. We have the King of Swords. That's a major. Uh, well, I shouldn't say major, but that's for Aquarius. Could be a Gemini, a fellow Gemini or a Libra. We've got the Hanged Man as well. Pisces energy. They're really thinking about what to tell you. And I believe... They are really mustering up their courage and I haven't even seen the strength card yet to tell you the truth. And I feel here towards the end, this person was a little bit cold towards you. It's like, where are the emotions? Suddenly it's like this person, it just changed overnight. And that 10 of pentacles, Virgo energy, uh, clearly they want it all with you. They're just procrastinating. They're kind of thinking about this. I, don't, I feel like they don't want confrontation, but I know Gemini, you're not going to let this person anywhere near you unless they come and tell you the truth. They owe you that much. Let's talk about that seven of pentacles. Ten of wands. Sagittarius energy. This is a high stress card. It's probably known as a lot of stress. <laughs> Too much stress. The weight of the world on your shoulders. I feel like your person is looking at the past and yeah. They are very, very anxious, very stressed about approaching you. And I think they're, they're realizing here to get to this point for you and them, it hasn't been easy, but this has all been their doing. So which is why we've got healing, approaching you with softness and being gentle and patient with you is desperately needed. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by my favorite card, my absolute favorite. You've got the sun, major there for Leo. It is indeed the happiest card. So this, you know, we've got the Wheel of Fortune underneath. It's a cycles, it's a turn of events that's going to make you quite happy where perhaps both of you, if you're feeling quite anxious or stressed or physically burdened out, you know, like burnout here, I think you're gonna drop these ones. Yep, this is the return of perfect health, especially if you know, physical health here as well. Pure joy, bliss, happiness. This is amazing. And it's also the card illumination. So anything that was hidden here, if you're weighing up your options or we know you've got the moon, anything that was hidden, the rays of the sun will shine upon everything, but it's all going to be because your person wants to talk to you. Now, we also have the king of wands is clarified by the hierophant. Number five, changes ruled by Taurus. This is commitment. This is marriage. It's doing the right thing here. I almost feel that your person did want to commit to you, but the circumstances said no. You're not going to. And as a result, I think your person was afraid of telling you the truth. So they didn't go out of their way to purposely hurt you to say, I'm just going to use Jim and I. But I, because I feel that a lot of you do feel that you were kind of being used by this person. But no, I just feel like, for I don't know, they're probably intimidated or they were afraid to tell you the truth here. You probably thought lesser of them, which in, in the end, I'm seeing that you, you kind of really thought lesser of them anyway. Um, but there was definitely some dishonesty here. You know, you are either in a very committed relationship or married to this person. They want to do the right thing here. Let's talk about that Five of Swords. The true card of love, Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like they wanted to be with you. They absolutely did. But there was something here there's something, but there's a lot that is still happening behind the scenes, Gemini, that you are unaware of. Something happened here behind the scenes. This person loved you before they, all the stress, all the burdens was on them. So I'm wondering what was happening on their side? Who was intruding? Who was giving them bad advice? Even if whoever did that thought they were helping your person, no, they weren't. And that really just shows here that your person has to learn to also think for themselves as well. What is their heart telling? Why are they afraid here as well? So... They clearly want a brand new start with you, but there was something in the past here where they said, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm too scared. It's too much here. Were they dealing here with someone else as well? Let's talk about that two of pentacles. Wheel of fortune. Again, see here we've got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius and Scorpio. I'm almost feeling here that your person knows that time is running out. I was looking. I don't actually always really look here at what, is, what are these called again when you turn them over? Okay, I forgot, you know, the sand. But yeah, Spirit's actually pointing that out to me that it's almost like your person does feel that time is running out. 
So they may bite, they might be compelled to approach you a lot more earlier um, as well though. We got cycles, we definitely have a brand new start, but I do wanna clarify this card, it's a bit tricky. Let's see. So Four of Cups, I think your person's lying to themselves. Cancer energy, everyone there is celebrating, everyone's having a blast, and your person here, they think they're being good actors, but it's written all over their face how miserable they are here without you. And I think, Jim and I, that, you know, it's almost like we're switching from being, you know, melancholic to nostalgic, melancholic, nostalgic, you know. It's a little bit bittersweet when we think about the past. And I almost feel, Jim and I, there's a big part of you thinking it's a real shame that your person did what they did, because there was a lot of potential here for this. So, you know, as much as I see that you're just absolutely winning it, um, winning and grinning on your professional life, it doesn't mean that this is hurting any less. You know, it's almost like this was your last relationship. This is the last memory you have of them. It does sting and, and it sucks. And I think your person now, they know, they know that perhaps that ship has sailed, but they feel like time is running out. So that's why I'm saying with judgment as well, they may actually approach you a lot more sooner. But I do feel this is going to be completely unexpected though. Nothing to be worried about. As we're seeing, they're coming back with really good intentions though. Temperance, my master card of healing is clarified by the world. You're literally getting some pretty powerful major arcanas here. And you also have the same fixed signs here of um, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Your person definitely could be at a certain distance or they're feeling that emotional distance. Mm, tough cycles have ended. This is a card saying, congratulations, celebrate, Gemini. You and your person together and also as individuals have gone through the worst of the worst. Not to be repeated again. It's pretty clear that they want a brand new cycle with you. But what's stressing them out is how are you still viewing them? How are you viewing the past? What are you going to say to them? Mm, it's a very good sign. A very good sign. A very good omen to get the world in any, especially the sun, my favorite card. Now, we've got some level of personal victory here in the near future let, with this person, so let's talk about it. This is, wow, look at this. We are clarifying the six of wands with the six of wands. Now, this is interesting. What does it mean? I get a lot of people asking me this. When you, you know, clarify, clearly you've seen I've shuffled on camera. Um, I don't like to look at the cards because I like to surprise myself. Now, when we get the same cards, different decks, different authors, what does it mean? So it means two things. One, it's solidifying here the actual message. It's making it, it's double confirming it for you that there will be a personal victory, a personal meetup or you know, a personal conversation here. It does lead to that personal victory and success. This could also show here that both of you are mirroring each other, not 100%, perhaps to a certain degree of what you want to achieve in the near future with each other. Perhaps this is a brand new cycle and it's going to happen. Now, we do have the Six of Cups. Clearly, your person wants to reconcile. What about you? There you are, Eight of Swords. This is strictly Gemini energy. You're holding back, though, mentally. You see how we've, we've got, you know, metaphorically, it's almost like you've locked your heart away, but there you've got the key. Imagery is very important on how the author wants to produce these images. So it's very important to see why they have done it this way. So I just see here that emotionally, perhaps you're thinking, well, what if? Mentally though, I see you're thinking, no, I'm too scared. What if this goes wrong? What if this and what if that? This seems too good to be true, for example, even though you know, you've got the Wheel of Fortune twice, you got, you know, the cards of destiny. You've got the six of wands, clarifying the six of wands, the ace of cups. You've got judgment. You've got really good cards for you rather than against you. So this can just show to me that you do have a bit of fears, a bit of anxiety about this. I would say is to, yes, analyze it, but don't overanalyze it though, because uh, that is very typical of you, Gemini, ruled by Mercury, by your thoughts, by communication here. You know, it's um, just don't be a prisoner of your own thoughts though, of what could go wrong. I would say, especially with temperance, because um, temperance is all about taking it slow until you feel confident in your decision um, on how much you want to allow this person to come back into your life. I wanted to take one more card. I want to see if you're going to take action. We've got the King of Wands at the top and the King of Wands at the bottom. So I think eventually you will be taking, both of you will be taking action towards each other right there in the middle. I think both of you really do miss each other. And I have to say, it is a real shame um, how things ended because this is a really beautiful connection. It is guided by destiny. Clearly, you know, the love is there. So is the passion, but how, whatever reason why your person did it, it is a real shame because 
I think they listened to the wrong advice and they allowed people to get involved, to kind of influence your person, maybe even bully or threaten them out of this connection. The reason why I say that, there is, a, there is still a lot that's happened behind your back that you're not gonna be aware of, but the sun is gonna make sure that you find out everything. Nothing will be hidden from you. So this is just, it's normal to have these fears. It's, I would have them as well. I'd be questioning everything, but I do see eventually you'll be taking action. So this is very interesting because what I wanna do now in your optional extended with four different decks, I want to do that reading exclusively now from your person's perspective and only from their perspective about you because it's pretty clear here, Gemini, that they do intend to come back and fix this and quite soon, to be honest, because I know time is running out. So the link to your optional extended is in the description box below. As a reminder, it is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. I will see you on the other side, but if this is where we depart, I wish you the very, very best and I wish, yeah, much love to you. I'll see you very soon, Gemini. Please take care. Bye.